Hey everybody, things are getting depressing out there, isn't it? At this point, they might as well name the store Smash and Grab. The surprising thing about this video is that they actually stopped the guy for shoplifting. Excuse me, sir? Would you like to be part of our Rewards Club membership? You can save up to 30% on your next purchase. Uh, okay, so no? Okay, may maybe, maybe next time. On a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being excellent and 1 being terrible, how would you rate your experience with us? Yeah, crime, that's not a thing anymore. Everybody's getting away with it. Woohoo! Even the rats know that they're gonna get away with shoplifting. You can steal practically anything, even an election or two. Just saying. But just when things are at its darkest, the light peeks through. Yes, Senator Fetterman is back! No, no, he's not heading for a smash and grab at the 7-Eleven. He's getting back to the Senate. I was completely out of it after winning the Senate, but then I tried clinical depression. And now it's like I'm a new person. No, he's not. This guy is still brain dead. I'm totally convinced if this guy drops dead, they're going to take him to the taxidermist and tell us he's fine. And speaking of death, Jimmy Carter apparently asked Biden to deliver his eulogy. This is a smart move by Carter to leave one last reminder that he's no longer the worst president ever. That the prize belongs to Joe. Still though, does he really want to turn his funeral into a comedy? You know at some point Joe is going to say, well, where, where, where's Jimmy? Is Jimmy here? Go on, stand up for everybody. Why are you nervous? But I'm like I've never met anyone that's not. I can't really explain. This is your first time? Seeing a drag queen? Yes. This and more on this week's episode of Groomers Say the Darndest Things. Well, it turns out that Budweiser is no longer the king of beers. It's now the Prince Harry of beers. Now they're trying to get their customer base back. I don't know. The only way I see that happening is if they make a commercial where the Clydesdale kicks Adam Schiff in the nuts. That might win some people back. Before I continue, let me just stop and thank this video sponsor. Oh, right. This video doesn't actually have a sponsor. And that's why I need you and you alone to like, subscribe, and share. And hit the bell. Sometimes Christmas does come early and you get to see the journalists, aka propagandists, put in their place so easily. We just saw that with Elon Musk and the BBC. You see, journalists are used to smearing from a distance without any cross-examination about what they do. And when they get just a smidgen of it, they immediately turn into hospital jello. Co COVID misinformation. You change the COVID, you change the COVID misinformation Has rules. Has BBC changed this COVID misinformation? The BBC does not set the rules on Twitter, so I'm asking you. No, I'm talking about the BBC's misinformation about COVID. Oops, I don't think he's ready for that. Oh, right in the testicles. Ouch, town population, you, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm literally Has asking you about, you changed the labels, the COVID misinformation labels. There used to be a policy, and then it then disappeared. Why, why do that? Well, c c c COVID is no longer uh, an issue. Does the BBC uh, hold itself at all responsible for misinformation re regarding ma masking and, and side effects of vaccinations and not reporting on that at all and what about the fact that the BBC was put under pressure by the British government to change its editorial policy are you aware of that this is a, a, this is not an interview about the BBC oh, so. you thought it wasn't <laughs> and this, I see now why you've done Twitter spaces I am not a representative of the BBC's editorial policy I want to make that clear oh you're not a representative of the BBC editorial policy are you working for chick-fil-a or enterprise rent a car or something no you are with them you are a representative of the BBC are you not so if you can question Twitter's content you can certainly question your own companies can't you hmm Let's talk about something else. You want to talk about the BBC? All right, let's, 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 talk, about, let's talk about something else. <laughs> I've never seen a guy drown while still being able to breathe. But then there was the question of hate speech. Content what? you don't like or, or hateful? What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Yeah, I mean, you know, just content that will solicit a, a reaction, something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist, those kinds of, those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is that I'm not, what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm saying. Well, I'm just curious. I'm, just, I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con content, and I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and if, and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? Well, you've asked me. You've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more. It, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's why I'm asking for examples. 
Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't use. I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why. Because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore. Because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you and said you, a lot of people. A lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only. Well, well, I only look well at hang my, on a second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example. Not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. And I. Well, I, then I how did you see the hateful content? content? Because I've been I've been using I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you, for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right, and you I, can't I, give a single and, one. And, and, and I'm saying I, I, then I, I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single example of hateful con of content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What no no what I claim was. Uh, there are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether whether it has on my feed or not, I mean, I, right, and Literally if you, you look at something one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, in the UK, they will say that. So you, they, Look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right, and as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? That I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content and then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then how would you know this hateful content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Boy, this guy's really killing it in this interview, huh? I personally really, really enjoy it when journalists end up being wreckage. But I have to say there's something particularly delicious when it happens to British journalists. Maybe it's just a Jordan Peterson, Kathy Newman nostalgic thing. I don't know. Ha, gotcha. You have got me. You have got me. I'm I appreciate moments where the media's bubble protected, certainties get popped. Misinformation, hate speech. These are all mainstream labels by leftists for leftists. When pushed to define it, it really comes down to whatever's convenient for them. This guy describes it with slightly racist or sexist. In other words, any hint of racism or sexism is 100% grade A hate. So only the tightest of the tight asses are judging you. That sounds really good for this world, doesn't it? And when all this goes unchecked, the next thing you know, you're moving on to racist accusations about the road. Even the ways that roads are designed and built, who has access to uh, a safe street design that's got crosswalks and good lighting? Who doesn't have that access? That can drive disparity. You gotta be f***ing kidding. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to pass around to anybody you think might like my content. And I'll see you the next time. Thanks.